patterns per year of cellulose, cellulosic renewable fuel. So this is another way of looking at saying it's not only about one source of energy. And when we talk cellulosic technology, we're, we're talking about uh, biomass, not, uh, taking the debate away from using food for fuel, but rather using the bio waste. Um, we, we're also working with uh, other fuel companies like BP uh, in, in this project. And uh, DuPont is also the leading supplier of specialty materials to the solar energy uh, industry. More than half of the world's 400 million solar panels are made with advanced materials from DuPont. So this is a space that we are continuously investing in. And as, as has been mentioned, uh, DuPont spends annually more than $2 billion on R&D. Now we don't have to come here and reinvent that wheel. We need to take that global science, that global innovation and make it local wisdom and, and localize it and apply it locally so that it, it, it actually helps us meet our challenges. Um, I think that um, the other uh, aspect that I want to just uh, touch base on is uh, where we are actively engaged um, in, in terms of uh, securing our energy future is um, really focusing on non-petroleum based options which can help to stabilize the markets and the value chains, chains yet uh, being economically viable. And you know, solar has been advocated for a long time, but we are working on ensuring that this is economically viable and affordable. We need to do this also in a collaborative way, so that uh, from conservation through adoption of alternative uh, energy sources, uh, we need everyone, government, uh, private sector, uh, civil society, because it's not only about provision of that energy, but it is also around conservation as well. And, uh, and also, we need to focus on improving efficiencies. So at, at DuPont, we are focusing on lightweight materials, i.e. in vehicles, just ensuring that you can replace uh, uh, iron with, uh, with, with plastic. That is another way of looking at energy, so that you know we don't focus on, on energy on just the provision of energy, but really we need, uh, as Africans, to, to focus on, on the conservation, so that even though we sit in this room, these lights should not be on, we should be having a room that can draw the light from our side, and that's part of uh, the conservation, uh, uh, conservation piece. When we look at the biomass um, and using uh, this uh, a biomass as feedstock, uh, at DuPont we are also in uh, agriculture, so uh, we uh, put a lot of money into R&D in the agriculture space, and we are privileged in Africa to have abundant land resources and again this is another way that we can harness our available natural resources uh, to meet the demands uh, that we have in the energy space. Um, I'll just uh, conclude um, by uh, talking about locally what we've done. I mean, as DuPont, as I said, we're focusing on the upstream. This is really the science behind you know, uh, the component that you use. And we will then work locally with assemblers. So we provide them all the science, all the materials, all the components, and the, 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 app, the application can happen locally. We also do uh, finished solar panels, and we got a good example of where we've worked in a, in a, in a, in a, in a place, in a town called Ogbomosho. In Ogbomosho, we worked with a local company called Solon uh, Natural Energy, which is a Nigerian company, and uh, we provided them the components, and they put this thing together, and uh, they provided the state hospital with a, a photovoltaic solution, and the Ogbomosho Town Hospital now boasts with a solution that powers the entire hospital for medical equipment, including x-rays, ultrasounds, and other power-hungry lab equipment to lighting, air conditioning, and other uh, appliances. Um, and uh, the company has also com continued uh, with other successful installations in Nigeria using the, uh, the Twant uh, thin film solar uh, panels. Um, and I think they've recently connected a school as well. So I, th I think that you know we need to really see how we take that global science and really turn it into local local wisdom that helps us meet uh, local challenges. But my main point here is, as we look at energy, let's not let's advocate. Let's look at, at an inclusive position which, in which all types of energy, from fuels uh, from fuels uh, fossil fuels to non uh, to renewables, uh, how we can harness that and uh, help. To 
lift the energy demands of, of Nigeria and indeed the continent. Thank you. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.